Hi there, everybody. Our football today is from the Amsterdam Arena, which has uh, a lot of prospects in it, I'm sure. And Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. The match today is Ajax against Rhoda. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. He's not been in bad form either. Four in his last three games. Defenders have got to watch out for him. And Ajax are going to line up like this. Well, they're going to go with 4-3-3 here, with uh, plenty of width to that attacking three. Yeah, you could almost describe it as the Dutch system down the years. And the three-pronged attack, it can be really potent, but it can be awkward as well for those wide lads. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. Just to check on the formation, 4-4-2, but an interesting variation on it, Alan. Yeah, a little diamond in midfield, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised at some point. If it's not working, he'll go to a more conventional 4-4-2. Really looking forward to this one. Nothing like the opening day of the season, is the to this home side. It's going to mark the beginning, they will hope, of something special this season. Their fans will be expecting them to compete for the league title this season. Coming up against a side that uh, probably isn't going to threaten the top half of the table. And I don't see them as relegation candidates. Maybe an average mid-table finish for them. Pim Plugmakers is the referee today. So we start with a kick-off. And I must say, both of us up here are really looking forward to this match. Griffiths. Well, the referee has blown for the free kick. I don't think he's going to produce the yellow card. Thomas Muller, a transfer. And that's a bit of a shock, isn't it? Thomas Muller has moved to Manchester United. Well, we're here in around £45 million. Pounds, and for that kind of money, the fans will be expecting something pretty decent. Klaassen. It's the big day for the manager. A competitive match with his new. They've opened them up here. Right in there. Knows about that for composure. He's dropping his shoulder, rolling it into the bottom left. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Larson. Well, to head the ball away. Maybe classic. Keep the ball at the moment. Well, it will be a throw in. booking this so got a chance in this part of the pitch here's the cross
headed it goalwards. Uh, it's a gentle header, really, and uh, no threat to the goalkeeper. No, he could have saved that with his eyes closed. And it's with Ajax now. And they're passing so well out there. And in goes the cross. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. to the frame of the goal. Oh, poor chap, it's an own goal. When it comes to the territory, he had no choice, he had to play the ball, but it's ended up in the back of his own net. enough to be behind now but to do it with an own goal is particularly annoying for the team and the player in question Good, powerful head of that one. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? <laughs> the opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the team that's taking them to the cleaners. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Now, what is the referee going to do here? signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. Sometimes it's hard for a team with so much of an advantage going into the second half to really focus on the second 45 minutes, but we'll see how this team does with such a strong position in the game. It's a good idea with the pass. Deflection. There was danger, but he's cleared it. He's given possession away here. attack a good effort at goal if they are going to lose they're going to go down fighting yeah and i think the opposition probably know now that they virtually won this match Gets 
it return to him. It was easy on the eye, but in the end pretty easy to defend against. David Klaassen. Oh, he's through. Out in front of goal. What a game he's having, the goalkeeper. Another save. <laughs> Cheeky tried the back heel. can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Juric. Goes for goal! Into the goalkeeper's hands. And uh, not really challenged the keeper then. the save <laughs> safety first there throw for Ajax oh, whistle's gone free kick This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been much of a match-up between the two sides. The winners conclusively at their best, and the losers just aching to hear the final whistle now. Chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. We're going to get a substitution now from the manager. He has the fullback who's going to come off. What do you make of that, Alan? Well, he's offered nothing going forward and he's not been able to stop the crosses coming in from that side. Not surprised by the substitution. with a substitution here, another defender ready to come on, possibly shutting up Schoff Allen. It looks that way, doesn't it? Trying to defend that lead, and uh, why not? It'll be an important win. Well, here comes the support. Go 
goes the cross. Strong play in the air. Escape his grasp. Munich. Here's an opportunity, maybe. And the referee brings it to a halt. First weekend of the season, a great way to start it. They've won and they've really looked the real deal for the first 90 minutes. Long way to go, of course. Oh, an awful long way to go, but what a start. The players judging off the pitch, they'll be hopeful of good things this season. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.